Good morning. The entrance hymn is number 734, Hail Redeemer King Divine. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned. In what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Christ, have mercy, Christ, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, have mercy on us, 
let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, whose will is to restore all things in your beloved Son, the King of the universe, grant, we pray, that the whole creation, set free from slavery, may render your majesty's service and ceaselessly proclaim your praise. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the second book of Samuel. In those days, all the tribes of Israel came to David and Hebron and said, Here we are, your bone and your flesh. In days past, when Saul was our king, it was you who led the Israelites out and brought them back. And the Lord said to you, You shall shepherd my people Israel and shall be commander of Israel. When all the elders of Israel came to David and Hebron, King David made an agreement with them there before the Lord, and they anointed him king of Israel. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. letter of St. Paul to the Colossians. Brothers and sisters, let us give thanks to the Father who has made you fit to share in the inheritance of the Holy Ones in light. He delivered us from the power of darkness and transferred us to the kingdom of his beloved Son, in whom we have redemption, the forgiveness of sins. He is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of all creation, for in him were created all things in heaven and on earth, the visible and the invisible, whether thrones or dominions or principalities or powers, all things were created through him and for him. He is before all things, and in him all things hold together. He is the head of the body, the church. He is the beginning, the firstborn from the dead, that in all things he himself might be preeminent. 
For in him all the fullness was pleased to dwell, and through him to reconcile all things for him, making peace by blood of his cross through him, whether those on earth or those in heaven. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Blessed is the kingdom of our Father. Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord. The rulers sneered at Jesus and said, he saved others, let him save himself, if he is the chosen one, the Christ of God. Even the soldiers jeered at him. As they approached to offer him wine, they called out, If you are the king of the Jews, save yourself. Above him there was an inscription that read, This is the king of the Jews. Now one of the criminals hanging there reviled Jesus, saying, Are you not the Christ? Save yourself and us. The other, however, rebuking him, said in reply, Have you no fear of God? For you are subject to the same condemnation. And indeed, we have been condemned justly, for the sentence we received corresponds to our crimes. But this man has done nothing criminal. Then he said, Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. He replied to him, Amen, I say to you, today you will be with me in paradise. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Good morning, everyone. Hey, wake up. Good morning, everyone. Today we celebrate the beautiful feast of Christ the King. Today is the feast we have, we have been preparing ourselves for the last 11 months. Everything we did, everything we said has its fulfillment today. Today is the opportunity to come back to church and said to Jesus, Lord, you are the king of my life. You are not only the king of the heavens, the king of earth. You are also the king of my soul, the king of my family. Today is the moment to come back to the Lord and say, Lord, this is what I am. I am your servant. I am your child. Be my king. Be my protector. Be my guard. I don't know about yourselves, but the last line from today's gospel is what gives me a lot of consolation. Amen, I say to you, today you will be with me in paradise. I really want to hear those words when I die. Because I ask my Jesus, say, Lord, 
Forgive my sins. Just let me do your will every day of my life. And I do want to receive those words from my Redeemer. Today, you will be with me in paradise because you accepted me as your friend. You recognized in me as your savior. You declared that I am your king. My brothers and my sisters, this wonderful feast of Christ the King is the official proclamation to, to the whole world that even though we are sinners, we have been saved and redeemed, but that loving and merciful God who died on the cross for us, for me, for you, for the whole world. It is a clear invitation to come back to the Lord and render ourselves. Whatever you have, whatever you have done, whatever you have said, this is the moment to say, Lord, be my king, be my God. It's the same thing what St. Paul says in the second reading today. He said, brothers and sisters, let us give thanks to the Father who has made you fit to share in the inheritance of the Holy Ones in light. God has saved us through his Son, and God is inviting us to become a better person. Sometimes the temptation is to believe that our sins are so bad that we do not deserve heaven. Sometimes the, our, the temptation is that we have done so many bad stuff that I cannot receive the mercy of the Lord. But we, God, only expects one thing from us, to stand in his presence and say, Lord, this is what I am. You became flesh for us. You who walk on this earth like us. You who shared our infirmities. Have mercy on us. God is so close to his creatures. God is so close to his children that he's not afraid to renew that invitation every day. Let me be your king. Let me be your God. Let me save you. Let me set you free from all slavery, from all temptations, from your sins. That at the end of your life, I can tell you, today, you will be with me in paradise. My brothers and my sisters, Christ is the king of the heaven. Christ is the king of earth. Is Christ the king of my life? If not, what he has to do or what I have to do, that he is my king, my God. Let us abandon ourselves in his mercy. Let us always trust in his divine will. Let us always accept what he has prepared for us with an open heart, with an open soul. And whatever comes to us, always repeat those words from our lady. I am the servant of the Lord. Be done unto me according to the word. The mother recognized in her son the king of heaven and earth. That beautiful woman from Nazareth, that simple lady comes to us also to remind us that if we do not abandon ourselves in her son, nothing is clear for us. Let us become the true children of God. Let us become what God wants us to be, his servants, his children. And with the entire church all over the world, let us proclaim that Christ is the king, the king of our hearts, the king of our families. When you go home today, it will be nice that you stand, if you have a picture of our blessed Lord or a statue of our blessed Lord, invite your family and together, Proclaim that Christ is the king of your family. You can take some holy water from the back of the church and sprinkle it around your home, your home and sprinkle it yourselves at home. Say, Lord, be my king. Be my God. Come with your blessings. Come with your graces. Deliver us from all temptations. And Jesus will be there because you recognize that he is the king of everything, especially the king of your home, the king of your life. Do not expect others to do what you can do it. Let us not expect others to tell you what to do. Go and take the first step to recognize that he is your king, he is your father. Do it 
with faith and hope, and you will see wonderful things in your life. And ask the Lord to expel from your life, to expel from your home all temptations, all weaknesses, all attacks from the evil one. Because when you proclaim that he is your God, you proclaim what you have become, his child. My brothers and sisters, may this wonderful feast of Christ the King prepare ourselves for what is coming next week, the holy season of Advent. As we prepare ourselves for the birth of our Redeemer, let us ask our Lady to guide us and protect us, that she might defend us from all evil, from all kind of harm, and that at the end, again, that at the end of our lives, we can hear those wonderful words from our Lord's lips. Today, you will be with me in paradise. That you can say, my God and my King, here I am. I have come to do your will. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Also, Assumption Church is very happy and very proud to welcome Deacon Carlos. As you can see him today, Deacon Carlos was ordained as a transitional deacon just two weeks ago. So he has been assigned to our church for the next seven months. And hopefully, with, and with our prayers, he will be ordained as a priest this coming May. So keep, keep Deacon Carlos in your prayers. Deacon, welcome home. And maybe he will be assigned as a priest here, right? So, Deacon, be faithful, be good. And from the bottom of my heart, I can tell you that this life is the best life ever. Be a man of God, be a servant of God, and be always kind to your people. Amen. Please stand. In your book, page number nine, please. And together let us profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. By the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified on the Pontius Pilate. He, he suffered. suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom we have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic Apostolic Church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the In the life of the, the world to come. To come. Amen. Amen. Always trusting in the mercy of the Lord, let us present our prayers to our merciful Father. For the Church, the body of Christ, that it be a leaven of hope for all in the world, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the world, that all who govern tend first to the needs of the poor, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For prisoners and those condemned to death, that they may be reconciled to God and know peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who carry new life and those searching for a reason to enjoy it, that they may be comforted in the hope and joys life brings, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the members of those worshiping assembly, that their faith in the resurrection cast all fear, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our sick, Andrea Emilia Bernardi, Russell Bondal, 
Arthur and Judy Brombeck, Bobby Brombeck, and those listed in the bulletin, that the Lord will restore them to health. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died in the peace of Christ, Sue Turter, Miguel A. Diaz, Michael Lawrence Newman, that they may be welcomed into the company of the saints, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. In a few seconds of silence, let us present to God our own prayers and needs. Everlasting, the Almighty Father, enthroned upon the angels and archangels, hear our humble prayers and grant them according to your holy will. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The offertory hymn is number 579, Worthy is the Lamb. and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. As we offer you, O Lord, the sacrifice by which the human race is reconciled to you, we humbly pray that your Son himself may be bestowed on all nations the gift of unity and peace through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and 
It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you anointed your only begotten Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, with the oil of gladness, as eternal priest and king of all creation, so that by offering himself on the altar of the cross as a spotless victim and sacrifice to bring us peace, he might accomplish the mysteries of human redemption in making all created things subject to his rule, he might present to the immensity of your majesty an eternal and universal kingdom, a kingdom of trust and life, a kingdom of holiness and grace, a kingdom of justice, love, and peace. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. To you, therefore, most merciful Father, we make humble prayers and petition through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, that you accept and bless these gifts, these offerings, these holy and unblemished sacrifices, which we offer you firstly for your holy Catholic Church. Be pleased to grant her peace, to guard, unite, and govern her throughout the whole world together with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Timothy, our Bishop, and all those who hold into the truth and on the Catholic and Apostolic faith. Remember, Lord, your servants and all gathered here whose faith and devotion are known to you. For them, we offer you this sacrifice of praise, or they offer it for themselves. And all who are dear to them, for the redemption of their souls, in hope of health and well-being, and paying the homage to you, the eternal God, living and true. In communion with those whose memory we venerate, especially the glorious ever-Virgin Mary, Mother of our God and Lord Jesus Christ, and blessed Joseph, her spouse, your blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter and Paul, Andrew, and all your saints, we ask that through their merits and, and prayers, in all things, we may be defended by your protecting help. Therefore, Lord, we pray, graciously accept this oblation of our service, that of your whole family, order our days in your peace, and command that we be delivered from eternal damnation and counted among the flock of those you have chosen. Be pleased, O oh God, we pray, to bless, acknowledge, and approve this offering in every respect. Make it spiritual and acceptable to you, so that it might become for us the body and blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, he took bread in his holy and venerable hands, and with eyes raised to heaven, to you, O God, his almighty Father, giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, 
which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ascended, he took this precious chalice in his holy and venerable hands, and once more giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O oh Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O oh Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the blessed Passion, the resurrection from the dead, and the glorious ascension into heaven of Christ, your Son, our Lord, we, your servants and your holy people, offer to your glorious majesty from the gift that you have given to us, this pure victim, this holy victim, this spotless victim, the holy bread of eternal life and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to look upon these offerings with a serene and kindly countenance and to accept them as once you were pleased to accept the gift of your servant Abel the just, the sacrifice of Abraham, our father, father in faith, and the offering of your high priest Melchizedek, a holy sacrifice, a spotless victim. In humble prayer we ask you, Almighty God, command that these gifts be borne by the hands of your holy angel to your altar on height, in the sight of your, your divine majesty, so that all of us, who through this participation at the altar receive the most ba holy body and blood of your Son, may be filled with every grace and heavenly blessing. Remember also, Lord, your servants who have gone before us with the sign of faith and rest in the sleep of Christ. Grant them, O oh Lord, we pray, it, and all who sleep in Christ a place of refreshment, light, and peace. To us also, your servants, who those sinners, hope in your abundant mercies, graciously grant some share and fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs, with, with John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, and all your saints. Admit us, we beseech you into their company, not waiving our merits, but granted us your pardon through Christ our Lord through whom you continue to make all these good things, O oh Lord. You sanctify them, fill them with life, bless them, and bestow them upon us. Through him and with him and in him, O oh God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. 
deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and for Lord Jesus Christ, who said for your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Peace be with you very well. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy, worthy that, you that you should enter under my, under roof, my roof, but only say, say the, the word, word and my, my soul shall, shall be healed. healed. sits as king forever. The Lord will bless his people with peace. The communion hymn is number 369. Beautiful is your love.
Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus, remember me when you come into Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Oh, Jesus, remember. week. Today, as we celebrate Christ the King, this afternoon we'll be having a holy hour here in the church starting at 3 p.m. All are welcome to attend as this holy hour will be dedicated to vocations to the priesthood and to religious life. Tomorrow, Monday, November 21st and Tuesday, November 22nd, we will begin the tapings for our Advent Reflections. So thank you to those that did sign up for the Advent Reflections. We do still have some spots still left to be taken. If anybody is interested, you could see me in the back of the church. This will begin starting at 6.30 p.m. in our Adoration Chapel. Also, this coming Tuesday, November 22nd, will be the next Italian Mass here in our parish starting at 7 p.m. with refreshments downstairs in the Father Wilson Hall. Father Randy Soto from St. Joseph's Seminary will be the main celebrant. This coming Thursday, November 24th, Thanksgiving Day, our mass schedule will be as follows, 9 a.m. in English and 12 noon in Spanish. There will be no 7 a.m. English mass and no 7 p.m. Spanish mass. Next weekend, the Knights of Columbus of our parish will be present after all Masses, Saturday evening and on Sunday, and they'll be doing their annual Advent wreath sale. The Advent wreaths will go for $20 a piece. Please to help to support the Knights and all the causes that they do for our parish and our community. On Friday, December 9th, will be our Christmas concert held by Mary Mancini and Mary, Mary Otaka. So the next two weekends will be the ticket sales. And in the bulletin this week, you will see this flyer. Please take this home and and share the good news of the next Christmas concert. The ticket sales will go for $20 per adult and $10 per child under 15. And finally, the Monsignor Francis J. Ansborough Columbiettes of our parish 
is partnering up with Birthright. So in the bulletin also, you're going to see this flyer. And they're looking for donations for needy kids in our community. And there's more information in this flyer, so please take the flyer home. This event will take place on Sunday, December 4th. So if you bring any items on that day, there's more information in this flyer with an email and a phone number. As always, please take the bulletin home. There's always important information in the bulletin that might not be said in the announcements. Have a good week, everyone. As I said before, so Dick and Carlos, welcome to Assumption Church. We pray and we hope that your days among us will be so blessed as we feel blessed with your presence. So Dick and you really made our church a very church as it is, right? So Dick and welcome home. Let us pray. Having received the food of immortality, we ask, O oh Lord, that glory, glory in obedience to the commands of Christ, the King of the universe, we may live with him eternally in this heavenly kingdom who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go forth the Mass of heaven. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in the battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and the snares of the devil. May God rebuke him with humbly bread. And to thou, Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl throughout the world, seek the ring of souls. Amen. Have a blessed day, everyone. The recessional hymn is number 733. Crown him with many crowns. Thank you.